what I always worry about is whenever we're doing something like impact versus effort type of uh, kind of prioritization, we end up looking at effort as something that is equal to prioritization when the reality is that we should be prioritizing things first, right? We should be aligning it with our strategy. We should be deciding what is actually most important to do. And then we should consider things like um, what, like how costly or what is the perceived effort or even what is the sequencing by which we should be doing something. Because um, that importance, if we go with effort ahead of time, there's plenty of times that are in this like quadrant that is high effort by high impact where people call it pie in the sky usually is what that, that area is called. <clears throat> but I would argue that if you just went off of that, you would probably not go after the things that are really most important um, for your actual organization. And so what you should be doing is you should be saying that for all those things that are in that quadrant, if you decide to do things that way, is like, how can we break this down? How can we look at the assumptions that are going into this? How can we experiment or prototype or do user research that helps bring these things into the realm of like feasibility? Um, but in reality, what I usually do is I'll say that, okay, well, we're gonna do prioritization right now based on what's most important. We'll do that first. We'll get to kind of something like a stack ranking ideally. Um, but if, even if it's not stack ranking, at least there's kind of some bucketing of like, here's the most important to least important things. And then we can start to talk about like out of all this stuff, you know, um, we need to start thinking about it. That's why I like I, I kind of Kempex 3X model, which talks a lot about like explore, expand, exploit, is that if there are things that are in the explore phase, we should be saying like, what is the bare minimum kind of fast, cheap type of experimentation we can do with this because we haven't proven anything yet. But once we start like seeing that there's takeoff, that people are using it and that like we're keep on hitting bottlenecks, that's a very different resourcing type of conversation. And so I think that like discernment between what phase you're in is, is really, really important when you start to decide what is the cost that you're willing to, to give. Because I, I think the biggest mistake any team will make is like, investing the entire team into something that is not a sure thing that you uh, you don't know for sure. And, and and this is why I also think like prioritizing problems is maybe more important than even solutions, especially at that stage. Because if you give me kind of the idea of like, you need to just do this one solution. Like I think it was Spotify that had said that out of all their A-B testing, I'm just using this as like a heuristic, but they said like a third of the time it would actually have a positive impact. A third of the time it had no impact. And a third of the time it had a negative impact. Right. And so if we assume that's kind of the chances that we have with most projects, if you just say that this one solution is the thing we have to go after, I have like one third of a chance of being correct. But if you tell me that I should go after this problem and I can do a bunch of really cheap experiments to get into that space of like um, we can start to then spread across all those things and then we can see what, what things work and we can start to look at patterns that will help us decide better. So I think that's that's how I approach cost and kind of effort and sequencing is that it's something that happens after prioritization. Absolutely. We, we like to say that our tool costs less than building the wrong features. Um, and that really comes into understanding what the pain, the problems are and prioritizing those problems. So, you know, that you're in putting your, that's the most, that's the most important thing that I usually do is like help us shut down product project or products before we actually build them. Right. Um, it's kind of like in the machine learning world, like actually the best model to run is one that you don't run at all because it's most efficient. And so I, I just I, I would always say like being effective at something is way more valuable than just being efficient at the wrong thing. Right.